Let's see on the converting your galvanometer into a voltmeter. What is a voltmeter? It's an instrument used to measure the potential difference between the two ends of a current carrying conductor. A galvanometer can be converted into a voltmeter through a resistor connected in a series. The scale is calibrated in volt. The value of the resistance connected in series decides the range of the voltmeter. Considering the galvanometer resistance is D, the current required to make a full deflection in the galvanometer is Ig. The range of the voltmeter is B and the resistance to be connected in is R. Since R is connected in series with the voltmeter, the current through the galvanometer is Ig equal to V divided by R plus G. So now R is equal to V by Ig minus G. This is the equation. Where G is the galvanometer resistance and Ig is the full scale deflection in the galvanometer, the current. V is the range of voltmeter. Resistance is the R. From the equation, the resistance to be connected in series with the galvanometer is calculated. The effective resistance of the voltmeter is G plus R. This indicates RV. So the effective resistance of the voltmeter is very large. And hence the voltmeter is connected in parallel in a circuit as it draws the least current from the circuit. In other words, the resistance of the voltmeter should be very large compared to the resistance across which the voltmeter is connected to measure the potential difference. Or else, the voltmeter will draw a large current from the circuit and the current through the remaining part of the circuit will get decreased. In such a case, the potential difference measured by the voltmeter is very much lesser than the actual potential difference. So the error is eliminated only when the voltmeter is having a high resistance here. An ideal voltmeter is one which has infinite resistance.